I'm going to show you an advanced virus removal method. I do this almost every other day at work. Sometimes I go two days straight just doing nothing but advanced virus re removals from our computers at work, which are over 300 computers. What you will need is an external hard drive enclosure. You will need to purchase this. These do not come with any computers you buy from anywhere. So they look something like this when you take it out. The hard drive goes into there and you just plug it in. Then on this end you plug in the USB connector which is the same this cord is actually the same one as a printer. From here you plug it in USB to the computer you'll be using in a regular power adapter. The first thing you need to do is take out the hard drive from your computer. In case you don't know what a hard drive looks like, here are two hard drives. This is the older IDE hard drive. This is on from a regular desktop. Both of these are from desktops. So you can see they're about the same size, same everything, except for something very important, which is the interface. This interface is called IDE. So this is an IDE hard drive. This is for the older hard drives. This is called a SATA hard drive. This is for the newer hard drives. This is what an IDE ribbon cable looks like. It will be connected to your hard drive inside your computer, something sort of like that. And it will have a power connection on this end. The SATA drives, I'll show you with this computer. I took out the side paneling ahead of time. The SATA drives will have this connection. This is a SATA data cable. So, first thing you need to do is take out the hard drive. Take out the hard drive from your computer. Sometimes it's very simple. You just, just like pull it out and it comes easily out. Or if you have a laptop, just have to flip it over and just unscrew the correct compartment so it will come out. And this is what a laptop hard drive looks like. This is an older IDE laptop hard drive. As you can see by these pins, it's IDE. The SATA is the same, as far as the same dimensions and it's just a smaller version of this SATA connector. So, desktop and laptop hard drive. So I just take out the hard drive from either your desktop or your laptop. All you really need is just, well for the desktop all you really need is just a standard Phillips or flathead screwdriver. For the laptop you need a smaller version of a Phillips or flathead. See this is just a smaller version of the Phillips. when you have taken the hard drive out for this example I will use a SATA hard drive after you take the hard drive out you place it in the tray and then place it in the box 
This part is unnecessary, but for the tutorial, I'm placing it in. At work, all I really do is just have this out all day, replacing hard drives to scan for viruses. But if you want, you can just put it in. From here, you will need a second computer. The second computer should be 100% virus free with zero problems. For this tutorial, let's pretend this is the second computer. You would just need to plug everything into your SATA hard disk enclosure. So this is a hard disk enclosure. It's a SATA hard disk enclosure because it connects to SATA hard disk drives. And connect the power. Plug it in. And then plug in the power. Hit the power switch. And from here on out, it will work on the second PC just like a standard USB thumb drive. And I'll show you what to do right after you plug it in.